going on I'm Tububu Bubbles and today I have the promised tutorial of how to get the best settings possible using a Mac a HTPVR by Hapog and ITV so first things first what you want to do is go into your Xbox and check your display settings it'll be system settings then display uh, you want to have 720p and not 1080i 1080i is uh, worse for when things are moving really fast and video games things tend to move pretty fast like the images themselves are moving pretty fast high intensity stuff so yeah 720p is better and after that though what you want to do is go into ITV and click on preferences now none of this stuff matters really I mean some of it might if you want to like right here, right arrow jumps 30 seconds ahead. If you want to change that stuff so you can like skim better, which reminds me I probably should. So it's 10 and 10. I mean, this is kind of helpful, but not really. It doesn't change, I mean, it doesn't change any any uh, display settings, but uh, this stuff right here, overscan is on, full screen is on. You don't want to stretch it, stretch it is bad. And you want to have progressive screen on both but yeah just yeah progressive <laughs> progressive scan on now the real the real important things come here so you go to your devices you have your your HD PVR all right you want to go down to good better best custom custom is the settings that you want you then you want to do constant bitrate at 13.5 megabits a second and audio is standard ACC da, da, da. So yeah, that's it for this. Now, you might notice when you export it, it doesn't look as good as it should. That's because you're exporting with the wrong um, settings or file um, codec. So, what you want to do is click this thing right here, the your file library, whatever. And you want to go to a clip, and I have one here, so it's only 14 seconds, so we'll actually get to watch it happen. Export. I'm going to name it test because that's original. Uh, format, this is where it's uh, kind of key. You go down to QuickTime Movie, that's the one you want. After that, it's, uh, it comes out really nice. After that, go to Options, uh, Settings. Now, this right here, Compressor, the quality is on high, go to best. And then leave everything else alone. Now, export to desktop. And that's that's about it. That's how you get the best settings. And you just import it into Final Cut. Just um, you should have it on your project settings. Should be just if you if you do have Final Cut or even iMovie. Actually, no, you don't do it on iMovie. On Final Cut, it asks you what um what you want to change the frame rate and all that to of the first clip. Just say leave it as it is. Basically, whatever that setting's called, I forget. It's uh based on first clip, whatever that is. So yeah, leave it on 29.997 frames a second and change the quality to high and all that other stuff and you should come out with something looking like this but I cannot show you this because it might be used in a future video. So anyway, you get the idea. Hopefully your videos will come out a lot better and uh, I'll see you guys later.